Hello, everybody. Let me see if I can get that in. All right. So, I shared my How to Kill a Kit with Style um, all my leftovers. And I wasn't inspired. And that's okay. Um, it, I just wasn't feeling the paper choices and I don't know this month um, I did get some done maybe eight now again maybe seven <laughs> um, this one This one I did with um, my How to Kill a Kit with Style. I used some of my Close to My Heart stamps. Fussy cut the cameras out. And I thought this paper from Hip Kit went really well with Amanda's sweatshirt. And then I kind of toned down his blue, Braden's blue sweatshirt and brought in a green and then went with that color throughout the layout and then I stamped some journaling this is going to go in an album for my daughter for their wedding and um, so I need to see where they were at and what I need to journal on there and then I tuck in a couple tags use some gems so and I used my a border punch for this so there is that one this one I'm pretty sure was done for punched out Thursday so I went ahead and used my how to kill kit style I stamped these out and did I use my shimmers or ink hmm I'm thinking my shimmer brushes on these flowers that I stamped out. Um, use this little, um, it's not chip, well, it's a sort of chipboard, and use that. Love this. I, I love that they were playing in the mud in their dresses. I, I just love that. Okay, this one, I used a lot of the Hip Kit uh, floral pieces, stamped the background. This was it for um, Mixed Media Frenzy with all the mixed media in the background? I love I love how the stamping and the mixed media turned out. And then I used some thread. So, um, Nikki and Lily have matching shirts on. Nikki has Cool Moms Club and Cool Kid Club. Yeah. All right, this one was for Punched Out Thursday. I brought the colors throughout my layout that matched Lily's dance outfit. So the blue with the title, and then the pink with this, and then I brought in some white and I punched out flowers, and then gave a decorative edge and a tag. All right, this one was for Mixed Media Frenzy, and I love this technique. I used to do this like you drop some airbrush on a an ice cake and then you use a straw and you blow it and it turned out so cool. And so that's where I'm getting it for this. And I've seen this layout that, you know, we could scrap lift. Use some thread there and thread here. Alright, this one was done for... I'm thinking punched out Thursday the circle and the butterflies just to add just a little bit of detail to my layouts and this one's a little bit more busier than I'm used to I, I did mixed media in the background and the clusters are more like I feel like I um, added more embellishments than I usually do but I really love how this how it looks. Life is messy because they're playing in the mud with their dresses on. I, I don't know. I love that. Alright, here's my little stinker. <laughs> oh, 
I'm trying to show you like his crooked smile, but oh, he just, he loves to smile. Smile for the camera. This was a mixed media frenzy layout. So I really love this. Uh, the photo's kind of tilted a little bit. And then there's flags. All right, and this one was a mixed media frenzy layout. Love the stamping. Love how that the mixed media turned out. Um, and I I like the layered bits. And again, it it got me to use some of the hip kit. Um, I fussy cut this out of a paper. I wish my sewing machine was working and I could have stitched on this paper like Missy does and all the other designers on HipKit. Um, this is a photo and there's, I've got some cold, gold color shine on my photo. This is me and Lily. So, all right, that is it. Not so, I mean, I did get some done, but um, I had, um, I'm thinking next month will be better. And um, so stay tuned and don't forget to check out all the links listed below and watch everybody's layout, share, and all their videos they've been posting. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, you guys.